right now, uh, what we are doing um, is not directly with the WHO, uh, but on our own, and in conjunction with the Nigerian Center for Disease Control. Um, we're currently assisting in screening people uh, who may have been suspected to have the virus. Um, and we've had the virtuals from at least three companies. And I believe two of them have sent some samples to us, which we have uh, attended to. And of course, giving them back the results. I mean, none of them uh, has been found to be positive. Um, we have, in conjunction with uh, the lab being loot, uh, also confirmed the index case. Uh, doing this again with uh, the lab in loot, uh, NCDC, and uh, the Redimas University. That part of it is currently being put together, and I believe at the appropriate time, when the report is ready, it will be released uh, to the public. Um, so, as we speak, that is what we are doing currently. Now, one of the steps I know that Nigeria has taken as far as its efforts at containing the coronavirus goes is uh, information that came up from the NCDC some days back saying that the IPC technical support staff from the Africa Center for Disease Control was joining Nigeria's response to train field staff in Ogun State and Lagos State. Are you able to speak to uh, some of this collaborative effort? Uh, well, I'm aware of them and I simply because uh, the contact, the index case, have been traced to have visited Ogun State, and of course it's in Lagos State, and it's expected that um, the highest contact, most probably, would have come from these two states. And so it's a form of preparedness against a detection of any case, especially in Ogun State, which has not had a case. So it's good for the state to be well prepared, to have an idea of what to do, Actually, what is uh, happening currently uh, from, from information news uh, is, is very encouraging because almost every state now is getting ready uh, to uh, be able to tackle uh, the spread of the disease. And I believe that should be done as if the case was in their state yesterday. So any state that has not joined that should begin to do so because uh, we are happy that we still have only one case and we hope we would have contained it but perhaps there is any new case we don't know where it's going to come from and it could be from any state in Nigeria so every governor of every state should set up uh, a team should design their own isolation center and of course seek support from NCDC and wait uh, for any possibilities of an infection in their state. I believe that way is the way to go. Otherwise, if they had to do a fire brigade approach when the case appears suddenly, uh, they may not be able to contain the spread. Talking about states getting ready brings to mind conversations about how many laboratories or testing centers Nigeria has all over the states, particularly conversations around the fact that uh, the Abuja case management facility was still in the works. Are you able to speak to this? Well, that, I think that's an isolation center uh, they were talking about. Um, and I believe that work is going on uh, to ensure that that is ready. But I also believe that if we have to have a case in Abuja today, um, they will be able to have a makeshift isolation center where this can be handled. So really, I, I don't think that uh, that should be a problem. Uh, however, since we don't have laboratory that can diagnose the disease in every state, uh, what the state should do is to use the helpline already provided by NCDC and they can be guided on how samples can be taken 
and then of course send to any of these uh, well-known labs. How many states in Nigeria currently have laboratory facilities that could test or respond to requests for tests? Now I can say that there are at least four or five laboratories. Um, not quite well spread though. Um, Lagos, the University Children's Hospital, our own center. Um, and I think NCDC lab in Abuja, uh, another lab at uh, the Redeemers University in Ede. Um, then I think uh, this place in Edo, uh, Irua Hospital. I know that some states who have activated their own team and getting ready uh, are also setting up laboratories. I'm not aware of their capacity to uh, make that diagnosis. But I believe that with what we have on ground, um, samples can be sent under uh, a well-protected condition to get to any of these labs. Now, as part of research efforts here in Nigeria, I'm aware that there's information that's been made available to the public on ongoing development of the first few cases protocol as part of research components to understand dynamics, severity, and virology of the coronavirus disease. What do we know for now? What's new? We uh, don't have um, specific information yet on the Nigerian case. I told you that we are currently working with uh, Lutz and the Reading Mass University to come up with the strain of the virus that uh, infected the index case in Nigeria. And that we should finish in the next few uh, days, and that report will be made available to everybody. Uh, beyond that, um, I think we need to also write up uh, the challenges surrounding the management of this index case uh, for the world to know.